So this is my pre uh, final presentation thesis defense. So uh, my name is Rima Sherger and my school is B. Reed Henderson High School in Westchester, Pennsylvania. One of my hobbies are biking, writing in general. I do newspaper writing for my school and I also am an avid drawer. And this is my title, Role of Ethical Hackers in Enhancing Cybersecurity and an overview on penetration techniques. So first of all, I want to introduce my paper. My paper advocates for ethical hackers as allies in ensure, ensuring robust uh, cybersecurity. And well, it also stresses their wider role in securing systems and addressing vulnerabilities. And it, my paper also talks about difference between various hackers and ethical and the distress towards ethical hackers and underscoring their contributions in safeguarding systems. So these are the important research questions uh, my research paper has sought out to answer. Uh, the first question is, what is the role of ethical hackers in enhancing cybersecurity? Understanding the role of uh, ethical hackers helps organizations recognize the value they bring in identifying and addressing security vulnerabilities. And they play a very proactive role in identifying weaknesses before malicious actors can exploit them and thus contribute significantly over the cybersecurity efforts. Then how can the issue of distrust towards ethical hackers be addressed? Distrust towards ethical hackers can hinder their ability to effectively contribute ethical, uh, to cybersecurity efforts. And addressing this issue is very important to foster trust and collaboration between ethical hackers and organizations. Now, the objectives of my research is to differentiate between types of hackers and ethical hackers, because distinguishing between different types of hackers uh, like help you to understand how hacking can be good and bad. And it also explores the motivation of good and bad hacking to evaluate important penetration techniques and, vulner and vulnerability assessment. Um, it all this this objective is like met by my paper because it analyzes the role of ethical hackers in conducting penetration techniques and their impact on organizational security, and to highlight and benefit highlight the benefits and advancements in ethical hacking. Uh, my paper uh, explores recent advancements in ethical hacking techniques, uh, tools, methods, and applications for cybersecurity. Um, literature review. This is one of the uh, most related current re research I found, which uh, kind of mirrors my own. Uh, this paper kind of focuses on ethical hacking and penetration techniques like my paper, but the key differences here is that my paper also talks about uh, different motivations and the uh, recent advancements in ethical hacking, which lacks in this paper, um, areas of weakness. Currently highlighted in my uh, paper is that uh, ethical guidelines and uh, standards while frameworks are there uh, to provide guidance to ethical hackers. There are a lot of inconsistencies and in ethical guidelines for ethical hacking practices. Evolving threat landscape, rapid advancements in technology is kind of, um, it becomes difficult because of the advancements in technology to like, and it also poses challenges for ethical hackers to stay updated with emerging threats and techniques. And then there's legal ambiguity. The legal landscape surrounding ethical hacking is often quite ambiguous and it, it, it varies in between various jurisdictions. And this, the last point kind of surprised me because I didn't know about it, but it was security versus privacy. I got to know that organizations have this gamble between security and privacy because sometimes due to security, ethical hackers do run uh, run into like confidential information, which they don't, which the company does not want to get out. So then it becomes like a choice between security and privacy. Um, then my methodologies, um, well, my research is kind of mixed. 
It had qualitative and quantitative. For in qualitative, I observed different research papers, determined some patterns in between them, and and common tropes which organizations are uh, used um, to like uh, why they don't trust ethical hackers in general. And quantitative, I like kind of saw bar graphs of uh, how many overall hackers are like malicious and how many are gray hats and how many are white hats. So that kind of helped me like know how hacking is in general. And these are like two graphs which I actually used in my paper. And well, the second graph also so kind of shows that how many types of hackers are, uh, you know, like true hackers and hackivists. And I want to talk about discussions in my paper. So, uh, well, there are, these are the three major findings that I've uh, enlisted in my paper. Then this is a relation to previous research. Well, previous research has also highlighted the need to address trust issues and misconceptions surrounding ethical hacking to minimize uh, its effectiveness. Um, the, method, uh, the approach adopted in this study uh, kind of continued what the previous uh, scholarly work in the field has also done in the past. Um, and then surprising results. Well, I I had I've already told you uh, before in this presentation that it was kind of surprising how organizations did not really trust ethical hackers while they were giving them privacy. And I feel like that's kind of um, it's a gamble which I actually did not know of. So I feel like that was kind of surprising to me in this research. And by conclusion, by synthesizing existing literature and you know, analyzing all the data. This research kind of provides valuable insights for practitioners and policymakers uh, in the field of cybersecurity. Contribution, well, contribution lies in, I have like examined the role of ethical hacking in cybersecurity and its efforts to address trust barriers. Um, the limitations are obviously uh, as scope. It's my study is kind of very limited to examining the role of ethical hacking. Um, I've not really delved deep into like, you know, technical aspects of it. Uh, generability, well, there can be variations uh, depending on cultural frameworks and legal, legal frameworks. So this so the study is not for everybody kind of. And data limitations, this, the whole research paper is like written by me analyzing everybody else's kind of work. So I feel like there could be bias in it and there could also be like trust barriers due to which the data cannot really be trusted. And then all about the research process. Well, the Gifted Gaber's research experience like kind of offered me guidance on conducting literature reviews and formulating research questions and analyzing findings. Professor Virgil, or Professor Sarada Prasad, um, and Coach Joe, they all kind of contributed to writing of the research paper. And I feel like the overall research program provided comprehensive learning experience and value opportunities for skill development. Um, thank you so much for your time and effort. Great, great, great. Awesome. A big round of applause for Rima. Uh, fantastic. Now, uh, um, Dr. Sharda Prasad, uh, a question for uh, Rima, please. Uh, thank you, uh, Rima, for the wonderful and uh, quite uh, comprehensive presentation. Uh, I have a simple question, like uh, you are, after reading your paper, people might be much more motivated to know how to find these ethical hackers so that they can learn to together they can learn from each other or they can collaborate so have you found a, have you found any venues uh, where they can come together and collaborate or learn from each other well it's obviously there are like different platforms where you can like go uh, most i've heard is that there are different like in like in facebook or in like reddit there are like different places where all ethical hackers and all white hat hackers come together and like discuss about various advancements they have. 
And I think that's really good because if you like keep tabs on that Reddit account or if you can keep tabs on that Reddit group, you know that all the advancements from all around the world because everybody comes together in that one uh, side. So I feel like that's like a really good place for information, knowledge and advancements, you know. That's true. Thanks a lot. Excellent. A great, uh, a big round of applause for Rima. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.